Speaking of feedback, somebody you know well, you've worked together closely on some of the ideas behind OpenAI is Elon Musk. You have agreed on a lot of things. You've disagreed on some things. What have been some interesting things you've agreed and disagreed on? Speaking of a uh, fun debate on Twitter. I think we agree on the magnitude of the downside of AGI and the need to get not only safety right, but get to a world where people are much better off because AGI exists than if AGI had never been built. Yeah. What do you disagree on? Elon is obviously attacking us some on Twitter right now on a few different vectors. And I have empathy because I believe he is understandably so really stressed about AGI safety. I'm sure there are some other motivations going on too, but that's definitely one of them. Um, I saw this video of Elon a long time ago talking about SpaceX, maybe it was on some news show. And a lot of early pioneers in space were really bashing SpaceX and maybe Elon too. And he was visibly very hurt by that and said, you know, those guys are heroes of mine and I sucks and I wish they would see how hard we're trying. Yeah. Um, I definitely grew up with Elon as a hero of mine. Um, you know, despite him being a jerk on Twitter or whatever, I'm happy he exists in the world. But I wish he would do more to look at the hard work we're doing to get this stuff right. A little bit more love. What do you admire in the name of love about Elon Musk? I mean, so much, right? Like he has he has driven the world forward in important ways. I think we will get to electric vehicles much faster than we would have if he didn't exist. I think we'll get to space much faster than we would have if he didn't exist. And as a sort of like citizen of the world, I'm very appreciative of that. Also, like being a jerk on Twitter aside, in many instances, he's like a very funny and warm guy. And uh, some of the jerk on Twitter thing, uh, as a fan of humanity laid out in its full complexity and beauty, I enjoy the tension of ideas expressed. So, uh, you know, I earlier said that I admire how transparent you are, but I like how the battles are happening before our eyes, as opposed to everybody closing off inside boardrooms. It's all laid yeah, out. Yeah, you know, maybe I should hit back and maybe someday I will, but it's not like my normal style. It's all fascinating to watch. And I think both of you are brilliant people and have early on for a long time really cared about AGI and had had great concerns about AGI, but a great hope for AGI. And that's cool to see um, these big minds having those discussions, uh, even if they're tense at times. I think it was Elon that said that uh, GPT is too woke. Uh, is GPT too woke? Is, can you still make the case that it is and not? This is going to our uh, question about bias. Honestly, I barely know what woke means anymore. I did for <laughs> a while and I feel like the word has morphed. So I will say, I think it was too biased and will always be, there will be no one version of GPT that the world ever agrees is unbiased. What I think is we've made a lot, like again, even some of our harshest critics have gone off and been tweeting about 3.5 to 4 comparisons and being like, wow, these people really got a lot better. Not that they don't have more work to do, and we certainly do, but I I appreciate critics who display intellectual honesty like that. Yeah. And there, there's been more of that than I would have thought. Um, we will try to get the default version to be as neutral as possible, but as neutral as possible is not that neutral if you have to do it, again, for more than one person. And so this is where more steerability, more control in the hands of the user, the system message in particular, is I think the real path forward. And as you pointed out, these nuanced answers to look at something from several angles.